having a dead car battery is the worst. Sure, you can get a boost, but if you don't drive that car for more than a couple of hours, you're back to begging someone to boost your car again. Not only that, boosting your battery from a completely dead state only gets you a little bit of juice and you'd have to constantly keep driving your car around to bring it back up to full. It will also cause some issues in the long run with your battery and eventually degrade it over time. So maintaining your car battery even after you boosted it is extremely important. For myself, I rarely drive my second vehicle and because of that, it's usually dead when I really need it the most. But that's all changing with this guy. This is the NOCO Genius One battery charger, and it's the cheapest offering in the company's lineup of Genius chargers. Today, I'm gonna show you how it's been a lifesaver for myself, and I'm gonna hook it up to my car so you can see exactly how it works. Now, you might've gotten fed up with your car battery always dying, and thus led you to Amazon to look for one of those cheap car battery chargers that are made in China. I am telling you to avoid those chargers at all costs. The only charger you should be looking at is the NOCO Genius lineup. Now, NOCO is an American company that was founded in Cleveland, Ohio in 1914. So already they have a huge reputation behind them. If you're dealing with car batteries and electronics, my advice is that you need to have something that's reliable, tried, tested, and true. None of that cheap Chinese stuff that you find on Amazon. I would not trust any cheap Chinese brand that I've never heard of and plug that into my vehicle while I'm away or while I'm sleeping. That's a recipe for disaster. The Noco Genius One is a quality device and is insanely small and light so anyone can really use it. They have four different types of Noco Genius chargers in their lineup. We have the Noco Genius One, the Noco Genius Two, as well as the Noco Genius Five and 10. The numbers at the end actually attribute to the amperage that each one provides. So this one being the cheapest in the lineup provides one amp of charging current. It's the slowest of all of the chargers in that lineup, but if you're looking to speed up your charging of a dead battery, well, look at maybe the Genius 5 or the Genius 10. They all work the same, and I wanted to just review the cheapest of their lineup. Any features on their more expensive devices is just an added bonus. So the Noco Genius works with 6 volt and 12 volt batteries, and of course, this one does one amp. In the box, we have the actual charger itself. Now this is the box and it looks really well packaged. Looks like a quality device that you'd pick up from Best Buy or Home Depot, somewhere like that. Doesn't look very cheap and that's already a good sign. So here we go, we're going to unbox it and take off the plastic wrap. And this recharges most lead, acid, and lithium batteries to replenish lost battery power. So um, that's exactly what we want today. For my dead car battery, um, I'm going to bring that back to life with this. Now, opening up the box, we have another box in there. And we have all the other models that they provide. If you're looking to actually boost your car, you would want to get something. This is not necessarily used for boosting your car battery. It's to charge it back up to full when it's completely dead. Um, boosting your car battery, you would need one of these devices. I will link that down in the description below as well too, so you have easy access to that on Amazon, as well as the best prices for it. Now pulling it out of the box, here we got the device itself nicely packaged i like that and it, it's fairly long as well too so this is going to plug directly into the wall um, you could also use an extension cord but the cable that goes right to your battery is quite long yeah it is fairly long long enough so that you can be next to an outlet and then plug that in through there and that's not the entire um cable either there is the other piece that goes to the car battery itself the cable itself is really really thick and feels high quality i'll actually show you at my car uh, what a cheap chinese brand looks like and you'll be able to instantly tell that the quality is not even close to what you get here this is ip65 so we do have a lot of protection here uh, from the elements i wouldn't recommend submerging it in water uh, but in case it is in snow or something like that, um, you're covered. And these alligator clips are really high quality as well too. You'll see what I mean when I compare it uh, to the other brand that I have. This cover is great as well too, and everything just clips in really firmly there. And you're looking at about 85 inches or 217 centimeters of cable 
from this all the way to the device itself. And then this right here is about 21 inches or 55 centimeters. So in total, you're looking at about 106 inches of cable, which should be more than enough in a garage if you need to charge something. You don't have to unplug your car's battery either in order to get this going. We finally have a set of instructions here, uh, which would probably be useful to look at just before you go ahead and charge. The manual is pretty straightforward. It tells you exactly how to use it. Uh, it tells you what the display is showing as well so that you can quickly reference that. And then also some troubleshooting steps in case you do find yourself with some issues. So now let's go ahead and hook this up to my car in the garage and bring it back to life. All right, so I am here with my dead Ford Fusion um, and we're going to revive this car back to life using this brand new NOCO Genius One. Right here, I'll actually show you, this is the Chinese branded charger that I had uh, previously, which is not so great. Look how big that is, first of all, compared to this tiny little thing. You can see just in comparison uh, to, to this. And then also the cable is very cheap. So you can see how thin this cable is. Um, if you look at it right there and these clips are very plasticky and it feels like it could snap at any point in time. Uh, not the best quality at all. And to finally top that all off, it just doesn't work at charging my battery. So here we have the battery actually disconnected. I, I pulled it out because it's really hard to get into that area, but you don't have to actually disconnect your battery. All you really need to do is just make sure that the clips are connected firmly and in place. But let's go ahead here. The great thing about this specific charger is that it has a three year warranty as well. So if anything does happen, um, you're always covered. Now I'm gonna go ahead here and unplug it into this extension cord uh, that I got. So I'll plug that in right there. And then to turn it on, we'll just go ahead and press that button. And there we go. It's gonna flash green for a second. And now it's going to indicate that it has power. So this orange light will indicate that you do have power going to the um, charger itself. And I'm gonna just place this charger right here so you can actually see. Um, I'll zoom in there so you can see what it looks like when it's plugged in. We have the orange light that indicates it is on. And now I'm gonna plug this alligator clip into the positive terminal first. So let's go there. And then this one is gonna go into the negative. All right. And it looks like it's pretty much secured there. So just make sure that you got a firm connection. And I'm gonna turn that on to 12 volt because this is just a standard 12 volt battery. And we have a red light that's showing. Uh, it looks like it's pulsating a little bit. It's glowing red. So this is just a wet cell battery. Nothing special, it's not an AGM or anything like that. So we're just gonna keep it on that. Uh, you can also hold it down for three seconds to switch it over to six volt if you have a six volt battery. But right now we're looking at the charge LED and this LED is actually glowing. So pulsing red light essentially means um, that the charge LED will slowly pulse on and off when the battery is less than 75% fully charged. This is completely dead, so that is true. When it's pulsing green, it'll have a bulk charge complete, optimizing battery for extended life. Now after we fully charge this battery, um, You'll want to also maintain the battery so that you don't um, have it degrade over time. And this is why this tool is so important for that. Uh, maintaining your battery is just as equally as important as um, being able to maintain any other part of your car. And using this NOCO, you can maintain your battery constantly, especially if you leave it in your garage for a, an extended period of time so that it never dies on you again. When the battery is 100% charged, you're going to see a green solid LED. 
if there are specific errors or anything like that, you will see it on the NOCO itself. It will indicate, which is a great feature. Right now, I don't see any errors on my battery itself. Uh, so I'm just gonna keep it here, let it charge, and we'll see how it is in 24 hours. Based on the battery size, as well as the type of battery, like a six volt or a 12 volt, you're gonna have different charging times for the one amp charger. Now this one will take about 24 hours to bring it back from dead to full. That's the maximum, 22 and a half is what it says in the manual, but I'm gonna leave it for 24 hours. And if you want something that'll charge it quicker, Again, you can get the NOCO Genius 5 or the Genius 10, even the two amp charger if you want a little bit faster charging speed. Um, those are available for you as well. So it's about officially 18 hours since I last plugged this in, and it's not quite the 22 hours that's required, but I think this should be enough time. I have to actually take my car out a little bit sooner, um, but this should be enough time to even get the battery up to a good charge, a good amount so that it can actually start. Over here, you can still see that it is glowing. Um, it is still trying to charge that up, but we are going to unplug it now at the 18 hour mark and see if it actually starts. I do have a battery tester as well too, just to make sure that everything looks good. So let's go ahead here. We'll unplug the negative first and then the positive. And I will put my battery tester here. Right now you can see that it is currently off. Now let me go ahead here. There we go. And you can see right now that the needle is right there. It is on good. Looks like it has 12 volts. Perfect, just enough to go ahead and start this vehicle up. Now let's go ahead and see if this actually starts up. I have lights, excuse the dust. It's been a while since I've been in this car, but beautiful. There we go. Now I'm gonna let the car run for a little bit. Uh, more than likely the driving that I'm gonna be doing is going to charge it up to the point where I don't have to um, plug it in anymore, but I am going to maintain the battery with the NOCO. Uh, I'll plug it in maybe every month or so just to top it up and, and make sure that everything's good. Um, that's one of the benefits of having this battery charger on hand. You can keep the battery plugged in. I don't have to disconnect it moving forward. I can just plug it into the car and let it run overnight and I should be good. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was informative for you. If you do want any of these NOCO products, I am going to link it down in the description below and I'll get you the best prices on Amazon. Using those links will just help me make better content for you. I hope you enjoyed this video. My name is J.I. Thank you for watching and thank you for kicking it with me.